Hello, everybody. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how I overcame my struggles with fatigue, chronic fatigue, Lyme disease, this kind of thing. Um, first off, I want to give you a disclaimer. This is going to be a pretty disturbing video, especially if you are a fatigued person. I am not going to say things that are going to make you happy, unfortunately. But I can tell you that me, the way I am now, I went to bed at 1.30 last night. I stayed up much later than normal. I woke up at 6. I felt tired. And after 40, 50 minutes, an hour, I totally forgot I was tired. And I've been up ever since. And that's a normal day for me. I, I can tell you, I have energy now. And the path to get here came from a very dark place. I used to live a life where I could not function. I left a job because I couldn't do my job anymore. I was falling asleep while I was on amphetamines. I needed naps. I needed to sleep for 30 minutes to an hour in the middle of every day before every social event. I totally believed in spoon theory and this concept that I don't have enough. And that's where the problems come from. And this is the part of the video that's going to be disturbing. Because I'll give you the answers that I needed. I'll tell you how I got from being a totally fatigued person who was told I would be sick for the rest of my life and that I had to accept this. I can explain how I went from that to living an abundant life full of energy where everyone around me is more tired than I am. And I'll get to it now, but it's not easy. It really isn't easy, okay? And I'll shut this door and explain why. All right, sorry about that. You might have been able to hear the birds. So there's two things that changed everything for me regarding fatigue. One is that fatigue is a lie, it is an illusion. The human body cannot not have energy and be conscious. You may not agree with me, you may not believe me, whatever. I'm saying it is not possible for you to be conscious and not have energy. The amount of energy that it takes for the human body to project consciousness is astronomical. And it is so much more than anything you think takes your energy. So for you to be able to be conscious in the first place, you have energy. There is no not having energy. We only think we don't have energy. And this is the greatest misunderstanding. And it's what I used to believe. I used to think my body was like a car and energy is like gasoline. You have a full tank, tons of energy. Low tank, no energy. You won't be able to do anything. Sounds great, but unfortunately, our bodies aren't cars. We don't fill ourselves with gasoline, which we will then be unable to move of as soon as it runs out. For you to even exist, and for you to perceive, and for you to witness, you have plenty of energy. To even have the thought that you don't have energy proves you have energy. There is no not having enough energy. And this is the greatest misunderstanding, and it's what I used to believe that screwed me. Okay, I used to believe that, that you could be without energy, but you cannot be alive. You cannot be conscious if you don't have energy. You always have energy, okay? It's just a matter of, is your brain thinking that you have energy or that you don't? But you must understand, fatigue is an illusion in our minds. Fatigue is not, absolutely not, a real thing or even a state. The only time that you can truly be fatigued and trust that that fatigue is real is if you've been moving, you've been physically exerting yourself, 
You're trying to lift something and you just can't anymore because you don't have enough energy and your muscles aren't working so nothing's happening. That's how you know you don't have energy. If you think you don't have any energy, if you think you're tired, you are wrong. You could witness something that would give you energy immediately. If a lion just jumped out of your window and looked you in the face and roared, you'd have energy. It's an illusion in your mind. Fatigue is an illusion. And you must understand this if you want to live a life where you have energy, okay? So now I've covered the first point. Fatigue is an illusion. You get energy by your body telling you, hey, you have energy, when really you have energy the whole time. And your body will only tell you you have energy when your body thinks you need energy. So you need to move, be active, walk, run, stretch. And I'm not talking like five minutes. I mean, we live sedentary lives. Humans are not supposed to sit still. It rots our mind. You must move in order to feel energetic. If you're drinking caffeine and sitting still and expecting and waiting for the caffeine to kick in and make you energetic, that is an illusion. The caffeine will kick in. You will get moments, if that, of energy. And then the caffeine will crash. You will perceive the crash. And the thing that you took for energy will then make you tired. Everything is perception. And moving creates energy. Sitting still creates the feeling of not having energy. So if you want energy, you must move, especially first thing in the morning. I know it's the, the hardest thing to possibly want to do, but if you want energy, the absolute best thing you can do in the morning is not have coffee. Instead of having coffee, wake up and go on a walk or exercise, do push-ups, whatever. Get your heart beating. That is how you activate the state of energy. So now you understand this first point. Energy is an illusion. Now we can understand the second point. Because you don't have to agree with me on that, whatever. But I'll still be able to make some progress with you here in the second point. What you think is fatigue when your body, when your mind tells you that you, I don't have enough energy to do this. I can't do that. I don't have enough energy. I don't have enough energy to have this conversation. I can't deal with this. I don't want to put up with this. All of these statements, what's happening, your body, your mind is telling you that you don't have energy. But that's not real, right? But where does that come from? Where does this fatigue, which is actually a created illusion, where does it actually come from? Because if it's not real, then why do we feel it? And the reality is, uh, this is because we're all crazy overstimulated, hopelessly addicted to screens and stimulation. And it, there are huge long-term mental health consequences because of the way we are. And I don't mean this against you personally at all. I, I suffered the same fate, basically. We came into the world in a time where our attention is farmed and abused. And there are millions of people on this planet who are being abused. Their attentions are being farmed and monetized and monetized and the corporations are just raking our attentions, distracting us with all sorts of crazy stuff. The media is distracting us. Politicians are distracting us. Your family's probably telling you all this crazy shit you gotta do so you can have a good life. And really, your life is here anyway. You don't need to do any of that crap. You're here whether you do it or don't, and you're gonna die whether you do it or don't. So, why do we have fatigue? We have fatigue because we, in general, are bored with our lives. Our lives, for most humans, are so incredibly dull and monotonous and uninteresting that being asleep feels better than being alive for most people. So if you think that you can live a really dull, uninteresting life and be really interested in your life and feel energetic, that's not gonna happen. In order to 
to feel energy and to feel energetic, you do actually have to be in the habit of doing things that you give a crap about. And that is why I'm saying this stuff is going to be disturbing because the reality is our society puts us in a place to be fatigued, to be exhausted, to be sick and to be abused and then to die. And if you don't take care of yourself, and if you don't realize how people are using you, your attention, your energies, then you're just gonna go along with it. And of course you're gonna be tired. Who the wants to live a life like that? Where you do shit all day you don't care about for people who don't care about you? Why? Why would you have energy? Why would you even feel that, right? We're living boring lives, and that's a big part of it. And that's why this is so disturbing, because I know you can't just fix that. You can't just change your life like that. It doesn't work, right? It's not that simple. So the best advice I can give for the second point here is that this illusion of fatigue is created by something, okay? Our mind creates this illusion of fatigue for a reason, and that reason is overstimulation. The fatigue we experience does not come from spending our energy. It becomes because our minds are just constantly stimulated. We wake up and we rush to go get coffee so that we can wake up and then just start stimulating and stimulating and stimulating. And of course, that is an exhausting process. It's not something that is sustainable. If you want to have energy most of the time, you need to be taking frequent, frequent breaks from every form of stimulation, especially when you are very excited or interested in something you're doing. And I know this sounds crazy because when you're actively into it, you wanna keep going. You wanna keep playing that game or keep doing the work you're in or maybe you got into cleaning for whatever and you wanna keep cleaning because it's what you've been doing. When you just live your life that way, going from one super stimulation to another stimulation to another stimulation, it will exhaust you. It doesn't matter who you are. All humans will be absolutely exhausted by this way of living. For me personally, I cannot do something for more than 90 minutes without starting to feel overstimulated, even if I love what I'm doing. It is not possible. With the, the most focused state I can possibly be in can only last for like 90 is exaggeration, to be honest. It's more like 30 or 60 minutes. And even then, sometimes it's just like 10 or 20. We don't get much focused energetic state. And my best advice to you, a person struggling with fatigue, is to understand these things. You are going against the grain, so to speak. The world has put you here to be tired, abused, and a factory worker. So if you want a different life, you're gonna have to start identifying the false beliefs you have about how the body works, how energy works. And unfortunately, you're gonna have to do the hard work of figuring out what you wanna do with your time here. You're gonna die. I'm gonna die. I could die tomorrow. Do not squander your time here. And if you don't feel like living your life, if you don't feel interested in being awake, chances are it's because you're not interested in your life. And that may be a hard pill to swallow because the reality of changing that is very complicated. But it all starts with this awareness, okay? So, my best advice to you, understand fatigue is an illusion. Understand that action creates energy. Moving creates energy. Laying down makes you sleepy. If you want to go to sleep, you can't just wait to be tired. You have to go make yourself sleepy. And if you want to wake up, you can't just wait to feel like waking up. You have to move and make yourself wake up. There is no waiting for our body to just feel the way we want. We have to act, and our body will match our action. 
This is the cold, harsh reality of fatigue. And this applies even if you actually are sick. If you have some disease, it doesn't matter because everything is relative. And when you identify yourself as a sick person who has no energy, there is no recovering from that. Even if your disease disappears and evaporates, you've trained yourself to be sick. You've trained yourself to believe you are not enough. You do not have enough energy. And this, as I've mentioned earlier, is an illusion. You always have enough energy. You only think that you do not. So ask yourself, why? Why is this happening? What is it in my life that I don't care about? What moments in my life do I feel excited about? Because I don't know if you've noticed, but you've probably had some experiences where you were really, really exhausted, didn't really care about anything, and had something was expected of you, and you're supposed to be more interested in it, but you just don't really care, and it's so much work to just deal with that and all that crap, right? But then, someone you have feelings for texts you, or that game you've been wanting to play for years finally launches. Or a friend you haven't talked to in ages reaches out to have a conversation. Suddenly you have a little bit of energy, huh? Think about that. Why can the mind make you feel like you have energy? The mind didn't give you any energy. So why are you feeling like you have energy suddenly? You didn't drink any more coffee. You didn't have any more food. But there you are, suddenly, in reaction to a stimulation, energized. Reflect on this, okay? All right, everybody, that's it for now. I know this is kind of ranty video, but I used to really suffer with this kind of thing. And some of my, one of my friends asked me some questions recently about fatigue. And I figured, you know what? I may as well just talk about it, because I've made a lot of progress on it. And I don't really have these issues at all anymore. And I'm like a bundle of energy now. So, hopefully that's valuable to somebody. I wish it was easy. I wish I could tell you that now you're just gonna not have fatigue, but the cold, harsh reality is all these things I'm telling you, I've been thinking this way for like five years, and that's how long it took for me to actually start having more energy. I suffered and was exhausted for a very, very, very long time. Okay, I've been through a lot of crazy crap, I've seen disease, I thought I was going to be sick, my dad's dead, my mom got cancer, all sorts of crazy stuff has happened to me, right? I could have reasons, but I'm telling you, all those reasons are an illusion. You get energy by moving. So move, figure out what you love, and do it, okay? You must get in the habit of doing things you care about or are interesting. Otherwise, why would you have energy? Why should you feel energetic about doing something you hate? Be honest with yourself. And this isn't gonna be easy, okay? But you can do it. And I'm telling you, you can just explode through your obstacles. The things you think, I used to think I was gonna be sick for the rest of my life. I accepted that, damn, I feel so fucking miserable. I feel so unable to do anything that if I would be in this state for 10 years, I'd kill myself. I, I thought that way. I absolutely thought that way. But now, things are so different, I couldn't even imagine that. So hopefully that gives you some hope. But I don't want to mislead you because it's not easy. All right? All right, everybody. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in consultations, I talk about basically anything. I can give life advice, I can help with any kind of online earning. If you want someone to critique your online income stream idea, then hit me up. It's $20 per 30 minute session, and you can get one of these sessions by going to calendly.com slash Jack Dermot Pittman, or by clicking on the top link of the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.